So I picked up a um, Delta Model 10 33990 radial arm saw on Craigslist for a little over 150 bucks. And uh, put a safety switch on it and aligned it. And I've got a data stack um, set of blades in an eight, um, eight inch one. I think I'm gonna go with a six inch one on this particular saw um, because the motor really isn't that strong. Um, I've ordered one and it should arrive today or tomorrow. But um, uh, yeah, I got experience too. This is the first radial arm saw I've ever bought. And I've had a, I have a bunch of machine tools, but um, and I was warned about the kickback. Um, but uh, especially if you take too much off on each bite. Um, but what's pretty cool is I was looking online and Mike Farrington, who is a guy I follow on YouTube out of Colorado. He uh, had a return spring um, that he put on a 16 inch saw that he has restored. And I thought that was a really good idea for a number of reasons, uh, especially it puts a little tension on the saw so that it won't kick back at you as it's biting the wood. Um, this is a negative hook angle on this uh, Freud uh, thing. So that helps a little bit too. Um, but um, I looked online and those uh, return spring um, things for the, the head to pull it back are pretty pricey, even if they're, you know, 30, 40, 50 years old and, um, you know, on the order of 100 to 150 bucks. I'm like, well, that's, that's crazy. That's almost as much as the saw cost. So uh, looking around the shop, I found a, an old return pull from a chainsaw. And so just as a, as a test, I set it up uh, this way where I, the, I used the nut, the, the nut or the screw that was uh, from the saw and attached it to the upper arm there. And then uh, on the other side, I just wrapped the, the rope around the string right there or the, the, the screw right there that's on the head. And it works pretty darn good, especially when you're, um, you know, you're, you've, got, you've got your wood and you're, you're pulling back you know, you're pulling back the saw and it's biting into the wood. The saw wants to jump towards you. So um, the fact that uh, uh, it does that is a little scary. And uh, so with the with the return pull, you can see it's, it goes back actually a little bit too fast. But that's actually good for um, kickback. So I like sitting down. I'm sitting down on a chair, an office chair. Um, and I like keeping my arm kind of stiff not flexed and then goes slowly through the wood and as it as it tries to jump back and you'll feel it jump back the the return there it um it puts tension back that way so it doesn't jump as far so um, i'm real happy with the way it works and uh i will probably modify that and put it on a different um housing it looks really rednecky but um it does the job right now it probably won't last either it'll probably break eventually um in that setup but um i'll i'll make it more looking professional and you know i think you can buy those these returns on you know the they make these quite a bit for other little motors and whatnot uh, you know lawnmowers and things like that and you can probably modify the housing to hook it up like this um, now what it doesn't give you is an uh a an ability to change the tension and that's what's nice about excuse me that's what's nice about the um the one that Mike Farrington actually had on his uh, big 16 inch saw. But I've got this saw out in the garage. It's not in my shop right now because I'm just playing around with it. And uh, just put a simple uh, little dust chute back there. And I also have my test tool things hooked up to the blade guard uh, outlet, which basically does nothing. Um, uh, literally no sawdust goes out that port and I, I don't understand that i guess it's the way the the uh, guard is but um, yeah i like this uh i like the ease of using it uh i'm only going to do miters um but with the stack dado uh there it's you know this is a piece of poplar off of my property and it, it you know it, it does pretty good uh, you know as i ran across it i didn't really try to you know um and the table probably isn't flat either. So, and this this board is not um, uh, plane down properly or joined properly, um, flattened and whatnot. But it's good enough for just testing out the saw and uh, seeing how well it cuts. Um, so yeah.
So get yourself an old chainsaw and uh, you can build yourself a return. That's it.